Hello guys, I am back from another video, and today we're talking about what if Bell was a BOW. So in the last video, we talked about how after Bell woke up and also seeing well Tione basically sleeping on him, he would try to find a way to get him off of him, like get her off of him. So after Bell basically did that, he would start leaving to go on his first well run into the dungeon with the rest of his familia. So. After a while fighting some random monsters, including a monster that ate him, but thankfully Bell just like tore open his tore open the goddamn monster's stomach to get out, he would well start telling everybody to start getting out of there, including after getting attacked by some caterpillar monsters. So after almost getting towards the entrance, they would see that several minotaurs are chasing them, but Bell would tell all of them to get out of there and let Bell basically handle this. So, Bell would just black out a little bit as when he wakes up, he would see that every single minotaur that were trying to chase Bell away, well, they are all, and I mean all of them are just basically dead. All of them would be torn apart as they would start turning into dust, transforming into their monster core forms. So, after getting those things out, he would start leaving and bringing, well, you know, the monster cores from those minotaurs, as he would get paid and several phallus. So yeah, after doing that, they deserved a good rest, so they decided to, well, go back home. So they can, you know, at least rest up and maybe even check on their stats. So yeah, that's basically what happened last episode. I almost forgot this part. Well, um, a certain girl by the name of, well, um, what's her name? He would also meet Lethia, which, after basically like a bit of banter and also talking, they would instantly have a great friendship. Not a shift, but more of like a friend, almost like sister to brother type of relationship. Um, the bit, the way I'm going to explain this is, well, imagine, um, Lithia, or Livia, I think that's her name. Livia is like Mash Kirillite from Fate Grand Order, and for Bell, he's basically like Ritsuka Fujimaru from that game as well. They basically has that. They basically have that similar relationship, but without the lovey-dovey part, because the ship for this, well, series is, well, Bell and Tione, so, yeah. So, that's basically the explanation about what happened last episode, and so, let's talk about what happens next. So, after a while of walking through the streets, they get back home to their little base of operations. As when they're getting ready to go inside, well, Bell would be attacked by... Not really attacked, more like tackled by, by, well, Loki. As Loki would start, well, getting off of him and starts chasing, well, Lethia. As when she does get to her, she would, just like in canon, would, you know, start touching her melons. <laughs> just imagine it just like that in the actual, like, um, first episode. Not. Actually, I think it was in the, um, second episode of the, yeah, I think it was in the second episode. So, yeah, as everybody's just, like, awkwardly just, like, seeing this, Belle would say this, um, Miss Loki, as Loki would say this, hmm? Oh, yeah, sorry about that, Belle. Um, what are you doing here, and, oh, are you perhaps done with your, as one of them would say this, being... Finn would say this. Yeah, we're already done. Ash she would say this. Good. So, I want to check all of you if your stats have maybe raised or your levels have raised up a little bit. As everybody is excited, knowing that they're probably going to have their, well, um, level changed. So, after getting back to the, um, Loki family household, as everybody's being checked, it's finally, well, Belle's turn. When Belle steps up to the plate, it turns out that he's now level 2, and she would say this. Your level's... well, you're level 2 now, and it seems that your stats have a little bit of raised. I mean, you're still over power, but still. Um, how about you, Bell? Um, it seems that you also gained a brand new skill, as you would say this. What the heck is a skill? As she would say this. Oh, it's like, kind of like your abilities. Like a special ability, like for example, um... 
And she would kind of explain it. As she would give an example, like for example, eyes and her like swordsmanship. As he would say this, I see. And what is that ability then? As she would say this, it's kind of glitchy, almost like it's. I can't even read it all that much. As she would give a piece of paper that, in well, kind of imprints like what the actual stats mean. After reading it, Bell would um kind of recognize that word as. Devour or something like that. As Bell would say this. Devour a eh? hmm. As he would give the paper back to Loki, as he would say this. I'm gonna go back to my room. As she would say this. Anyway, um we're gonna have dinner soon, so be prepared. As he would say this. Sure, Miss Loki. As he bows as he starts leaving, going back to his room, as Loki would start laughing to herself saying <laughs> Can't wait to tell everybody what happened when I saw into Belle's room. <laughs> she kind of laughs a little bit like a maniacal little gremlin that she is. As when Belle basically gets back to his room, he would see that, well, Tione is basically not there. As he would say to himself, I'm guessing she'd gone back to her room. As after changing, he would start getting ready to go downstairs as you would see everybody getting excited for, you know, wait for a second, for dinner. So yeah, so as everybody is sitting down, everybody is basically excited to finally eat. As while they were eating, they are basically bantering, maybe even drinking, and as for Belle, he would not drink anything and mostly just ate, mostly drinking water. As eyes would just look at Belle as she would say this. So, Belle, what happened to you and the Minotaurs? As he would say this. Oh, um, I kind of blacked out. As one of them would say this, being... Well, wait for a second. Bet. Bet would say, So you blacked out during the fight. <laughs> I'm guessing you kind of blacked out and somebody else decided to fight for you. As he would say this. Are you sure about that? As he would say this. I'm pretty sure. Besides, as he would start bursting out these flames from his hands as he would say this. You think that I'm probably gonna lie? Or I'm not that smart? As he would say this. Don't try and test me. And besides, as he would start growing these almost like insectile wings, as everybody would say, I didn't know that he's able to do that. As... Well, one of them specifically, well, Loki would say this to herself, and I already knew that he's able to do that thanks to his stats. As he would say this, or I'll just have to let's just have a bit of fun with you. As his claws would start growing, as one of them would say this, being Loki, alright, everybody just calm down and let's just eat and have a bit of fun. Besides, I have a bit of a funny story after you all guys left. As Belle would say this, really, then what is it? As he would, as she would say this, oh, I don't know, maybe like, um, perhaps, um, your sister. As he would start, as she would start looking at, well, wait for a second. Starts looking at Tiona, as she would say this. Wait, my sister Tione? What happened to her? As she would say this, oh, I don't know. Um, when you guys left, I saw Tione kind of getting out of, oh, I don't know, out of Belle's room. As everybody just, like, stops, as they just say, what? As Tiona would just look at Belle as he would say this, uh, I don't know, I don't know anything, I swear. As one of them would say this, being, well, um, what is his name? Bet? Yeah, Bet. Bet would say this, wait, you and... As he would say this, I did not do anything to her, I swear to god. As as when Tiona heard of this, Tiona would say this. So, you did something to my sister, eh? As he would say this, I didn't do anything to her, I swear. As she would say this, oh really? As she would start grabbing her sword, as Loki's basically laughing, as Belle would just say this. I didn't do anything, I, I was sleeping, and... She was clearly drunk at the time, as she would say this, really, as she would start almost glowing these blood-red eyes, as he would say this, Oh crap, 
what should I do? Um, um, he would start looking everywhere, as one of them would specifically look at him. Being, well, um, Lethia, as Lethia would say this. So you actually did it with one of the, as you would say this. I swear to God, I did not think to her. As a person would come out of the shadows, being, well, Tione, as Tione would say this. Oh, hello, Belle. <laughs> uh, let me just explain what happened. <laughs> so, after explaining what happened, as, well, Loki is basically still laughing, as everybody just basically starts laughing, as, well, one of them specifically, Bet, says this. So, <laughs> so, the little runt decided to, well, <laughs> didn't even know that he was... <laughs> That the girl decided to walk in on him. <laughs> As Belle would say this. Yeah. And it turns out you were drunk at the time and you decided to... Oh, I don't know. Decided to go into my room because you thought it was yours. And she would say this. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry. And actually, you were kind of cuddly. Pretty warm. As... Well, Tiona was saying this. Oh, I see. As you start bring out her blade, as Belle would just say this. Uh, it wasn't like that, I swear! As she would say this. We didn't do anything, sister. I promise. As she would say this. Oh, I promise that. After I bring Belle to hell, as she would start bring out her blade, as... Well, one of them specifically says this. Alright, enough for you two. As Rivia would come out, as she would say this. Ah... <sighs> I don't know what actually happened, but either Bell is basically lying or he's telling the truth, so... <sighs> Tione, please explain and at least tell if you were actually the one that decided to do this, as she would explain that she wasn't the one that basically just like... Actually, she was the one that basically did it, as when, well, Tiona said, or at least heard this, she would say this. I see... Hmm. As she would look at Belle, as she would say this. You're lucky that my sister didn't... Uh, you're lucky that my sister didn't get... You know. And if I'll ever try and touch my little sister... As she would bring up her blade. I'll slit your throat. And castrate you. As Belle would say this. I didn't... Uh, whatever. Anyway... Tomorrow I'm gonna get my brand new knife, okay? As one of them would say this, being bet. I see. So you're planning on getting that new knife that you ordered from the Feistus, right? As he would say this. Yeah, pretty much. As he would say this. Heh, <sighs> whatever. As, as everybody is basically finishing eating, they would all go back to their, well, specific rooms as they would fall asleep. Wait for a second. So... Bell would just basically, like, he would basically wake up early as he would start leaving to go to the, um, Hephaestus Familia's home as he introduces himself, or at least introduces himself to one of the, well, um, you know, members of that Familia, as one of them would say this. So, you're looking for Hephaestus, as he would say this. Yep, exactly. Uh, I've been looking for my brand new life. She said that she actually made it for me. As he would say this, ah, I see. Just let me tell her, um, tell her that you arrived. As he would say this, thank you. As he would say this, you're welcome, I guess. So, after a while, basically waiting outside, he would basically open the gates. As he would start going inside of their familiar like um, mansion or whatever. As after going into the forge, they see, well, Hephaestus finishing up the blade, which is his brand new knife, including a brand new mask, as Bell would say this. Huh, nice mask. So is this for me? As she would say this. Yep. Uh, I kind of sympathize with you because of your little eye over there, so... As he would say this. Thank you, Miss Hephaestus. As she would say this. <laughs> You're welcome. Now... I want you to try it on. I want to see what is your reaction to it. As he would say this. Sure. So, after basically um, wearing the mask and also his, 
wielding his brand new knife, he would look like this. He would look like this. As when he looks up, he would say this. So, what do you think? As one of them would say this. Well, he actually looked yeah, pretty good. As Hephaestus would say this. After all, I did make it. Says, well, Hephaestus herself. As Bo would say this. Yeah, the mask is quite um, flexible. Not only that, I can easily breathe through it, unlike my old mask. And the knife is quite... Actually, it's not even look like a knife. It's more like a sword, thanks to the large handle. I should say this. Well, it's kind of a long story. As you would say this. Anyway, thank you for the purchase. Um, thank you for, you know, making for this. Or making me this. As she would say this. You're welcome. And it doesn't matter anyway, because I just hope you like my new weapon. After all, after ideas, after the ideas that you showed me, I decided to add a bit of a touch to your weapon. As you would say this. No kidding. It seems that he it seems to have these weird writings on this blade. As she would say this. Well, it is enchanted. As you would say this. Enchanted. As she would say this. Yep. Enchanted by yours truly. Not only that, whenever you use your blade, it gets stronger the more you use it. As you would say this. Really? Huh. Now this is going to be useful. As he would twirl the, twirl the knife all around his well hand, as he would say this. Thank you. I should be going now. After doing that, he would go back to his familia as everybody's basically looking at his new mask and little knife. It's actually, it's not really little, it's literally the same size as like, maybe like a short sword. So the way that he calls it a knife, well, it just confuses everybody. So after basically showing him, like showing them his brand new weapon, they think it's quite cool, but they know that he already has his own weapons, specifically these. <laughs> so, after doing that, he would look around as he would recognize, well, um, some of the girl members of the Loki family are basically, except for Rivia and Loki, as Loki would say this. Oh. Um, Lethia and the rest of the girls, they're currently on the shopping spree. As he would say this. I see. Wait, how about Bet? As Bet would say this. Ugh, I'm back. As he would look, as he would see that Bet is kinda bloodied. As he would say this. What the heck happened to you? As he would say this. Ugh, gun to a bar fight. It's nothing else, okay? As... What one of them would say this, specifically... Rivia would say this, uh, It's usual for you to always have a bar fight. Every single time when you go into a bar, you basically cause chaos. As he would say this, It's not my problem for being so cool. And not only that, being super powerful. As he would say this, Being, you know, Belle. Really. As he would say this, Kinda powerful. As what a different start laughing being, well, Loki, I should say this. <laughs> anyway, so, Belle, um, tell me about Hephaestus. How is she doing now? As he would say this. Well, she's doing quite okay, and after I gave her some of my blueprints, well, as she would say this. Blueprints? As you would say this. Yeah, those blueprints were kind of, well, kind of classified in my opinion, but... Um, to say the least, at least she's um, getting new ideas, and she told me about this brand new knife that I was given. Apparently it's enchanted to get stronger the more I become stronger or something like that. Or, or more specifically, she said the more I use it, the more stronger it becomes. I don't know what she, I don't know what it means by that, but I think it's, well, I think it means that if the more it, I don't know, maybe like... As one of them would say this, being Rivia, I think it means that you use it, maybe it becomes stronger, maybe like if you damage an enemy, the more tougher and stronger the blade is. As Bell would say this, that's a possibility, but I don't know. 
as one of them would say this, being bet. <sighs> whatever. I need to get another drink. Um, tell me when we have another mission, okay? As Bell would say this. Okay, Mr. Bet. So, after doing that, they would basically go on their day without any hitches. So, yeah. Wait for a sec. So, the next day comes as everybody's basically excited for some reason. As when Bell basically tells, well, one of them what is so exciting about today. As it turns out that there's a monsterphilia happening. As Bell would just say this. What the heck's a monsterphilia? As one of them would explain that the monsterphilia is basically like a battle royale or a coliseum. Led by the Ganesha familia. As when Bell hears this, he would say this. Hmm, interesting. As he would hear from somebody specifically... A certain girl by the name of Lethia is kind of, well, sad, as when Belle approaches her, she would say this. Oh, um, Belle, um, what are you doing here? As Belle would say this. You look kind of upset. What happened? As she would say this. Well, um, I have a second ticket to the Monsterphilia, so I want to tell Eyes that she can join with me, but she is going to another, well, escort mission with the help of... Miss Loki, as he would say this, say that again, she would say this, Miss Loki, uh, I kind of feel, well, angry at myself, as he would say this, I see, hmm, maybe I can join, she would say this, wait, really, as he would say this, yep, I'm kind of interested in this monster filia business, as she would say this, cool, so, what time? As he would say this, I don't know, maybe like, um, let's just say like, um, 540 or something like that. As she would say this, um, cool. So, after telling her about that, they would start, well, getting ready for their monsterphilia as they started moving out to go towards the Coliseum. After a while, basically going through the city, they would see that the monster Philia is still raging on as they started watching. In as everybody's still looking at him because he's still wearing the god dang mask. Wait for a second. Sorry about that. So, while they're basically just like watching the monster Philia still going on, he would sense something that is going to, like something bad is going to definitely going to happen. I mean, he's not wrong because... While they were doing that, Freya decided to open up one of the cages of these monsters. And those monsters were not not only being monsters themselves, they were infected with viruses. Specifically, some of the T viruses and some G viruses, or at least some strains of it. So, after, well, Freya decided to let these things go because... Well, let's, um, talk about, like, a little bit of, like, um, well, backstory specifically, or more specifically, a little bit of a flashback. So, in this flashback, when she, um, sends Belle during, well, when Belle is basically still knocked out and being brought into the city, she felt that Belle's soul is completely different. His soul is almost pure white, just like in canon, but... It seems to have this almost red sparkle to it. Like, there's something infecting it. And she was quite interested in him ever since. That is why both, well, let's just say both, wait for a second. Both Loki and, well, Freya are basically fighting now because of the ownership of Bell. For, well, Loki's case. Because he's quite strong and wants him to still be in this, well, familia because, you know, money. <laughs> and as for Freya, because she's quite interested in soul. So, after bringing all of these monsters that have literal viruses in them, basically bringing them out, they would start causing chaos around the city. So, after Belle sees all of this and also some of the, well, Ganesha familia members talked about it, Everyone was told to get out of there. So, when Belle hears this and also, you know, um, well, Lethia, wait for a second, and also Lethia, they started leaving too, 
to see several of the monsters, or at least the infected ones, basically causing a ruckus. So, Bell would start transforming his arms into almost like, you know, these things. The almost deformed hand ones, with the shards basically coming out of there. The shards of bone would start spewing out this almost gas-like um, substance, which basically repels his arm almost like a rocket, causing several, like, causing, like, a serious punch to happen. So, Bell would start slicing the monsters with one of his hands, or more specifically, one hand is holding the knife, and the other is basically just, like, a gigantic-ass punching hand. And as for Rivia, she starts helping Bell by buffing up all everything, like, buffing up his, like, stats. But Bell doesn't really need it because he's basically overpowering these monsters a little bit. They're still infected, but still, he's still overpowered. So, after a while basically defeating all of these monsters, another pair of monsters, more specifically the ape-like one, would start coming towards him, barreling towards him at full speed, but it seems a bit different. It seems to be mutated, almost to the point that it's almost turning into more of a B.O.W., as Bell would say this. Um, Leafia, get out of here, as Leafia would say this. What are you doing? Are you crazy? You might get you might get yourself killed or something like that. As Bell would say this. Just get out of here. It's not good. As Bell would just see the BOW, monster would start charging towards him as it crashes it, like punches him into a wall. Bell would start spewing out blood as he would say this. God damn it. Why the hell are these monsters here? And how are they even affected? As he would see that some of the monsters that he has killed didn't turn into monster cores, but instead became just regular old corpses. Wait for a second. So the ape-like monster starts charging towards them as eyes would arrive and blocks the attack. As she would say this, Bell, are you okay? As Bell would say this, yeah, I'm fine, but these are not normal monsters. Those are the ones from the forest, remember? As she would say this, you mean those... As he would say this, yeah, those are infected monsters. As he would say this, just let me handle this. You and just like, well, you and Rivia or Leafia or whatever, will be trying to find any other civilians and tell them to get out of here. I'll be handling this. As she would say this. What the heck was that sound? Wait for a second. Sorry about that, that was my dog. Sorry about that. So, after telling them about this, they would start leaving to try and find any civilians to get out of here. So, Belle would just be in an empty street, now alone with this monster, this infected, almost, um, demonic monster, now infected with a certain G-Virus. So, it would start barreling towards him as he would say this. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. As bring out this shield, this shield almost having like this all like literally having its own sentience literally having a mouth and a rotting almost um um pulse eating eye to say the least so it would start charging towards him as the eye like shield, the shield that's basically sentient would start chomping on his well arm as it gets ripped out of him as the monster would start screaming in pain as he would start charging at him with the, well, gigantic ass hair, like gigantic ass like arms that it had, as it would start growing two other like appendages, almost like spider legs, as it would start screaming out in pain, as it would start shooting out this, well, beam of black something. It's definitely not a normal blast of like, I don't know, like fire or something. It's like this ooze, which when in contact with, like, anything, it starts disintegrating, almost like acid. As Bell would say this, Well then, guess it's time for me to use this, well, knife to its full potential then. As you start using it, as you start charging towards the monster, as it starts spewing out this, this black substance, as it just slices through it like butter, as Bell would say this, Huh, this knife ain't that bad. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Hephaestus. As he would start using the knife again, as he starts 
coming towards it as he starts, well, cutting off its chest open. Like, he literally, like, opens the chest by literally just, like, um, you know the scene in, like, um, I can't remember the specific scene, but he basically, like, the character would just, like, slide down as he starts using a sword or knife or whatever. As he starts, like, slicing the thing open or the monster or whatever, it's basically similar to that. So, he would do that as the monster would be ripped in half, as it dies turning into just a regular old corpse. So, after doing that, everybody would start celebrating, saying, You did it! You're a hero! As they started saying, You did it! As they would just, like, uh, start saying, You're a hero! Thank you for saving us! As Bell would just say this, Uh, don't worry, I'm not really that of a hero. As... He would start clenching his mask as he would say this. Anyway, I should probably try and find the rest of my familia if they're even here at least. So, Eyes, Loki, and the rest of the other familia members are still there, basically just tending to many of the civilians. And as for Bell, Bell is basically coming out of nowhere as he would say this. So, um, all of you guys are okay? As one of them would say this, being, you know, eyes. Um, yeah, we're okay. And as for you, Bill, are you, as you'd say this, uh, no minor scratches, besides I'm just healing. As she would say this, I can clearly see that. As one of them would say this, being, well, wait for a second. Leafia, as Leafia would say this. Um, Bill, as Bell would say this, um, what is it? As she would say this, um... I'm sorry for, you know, bringing you into this mess. My fault for bringing you here. And I'm sorry. Please forgive me. As Belle would say this. Ah, <sighs> Rivia, it ain't your fault. As she would say this. Wait, what? As he would say this. It ain't your fault that it was, you know, the monster's fault. It's actually more like, um... Um, I guess it's kind of like the, um, fault of the, um, what is that called? The Ganesha Familia's fault. Because it seemed that the monster came from their side, so I'm guessing it's probably their fault. And she would say this. I guess you're right. As Belle would say this. So don't be hard on yourself. Besides, I'm just gonna heal up and don't worry, I'm not really that injured or anything like that, so... I should say this. I see. As Bill would say this. Anyway, so are there any casualties or anything like that? As one of them would say this, being, well, Loki. Not at all. Thanks to you, at least. As Bill would say this. Thank you, Miss, um, you know. Wait for a second. Thank you, Miss Loki. As she would say this. Uh, it's not, um, technically your, um, doing, but you still saved the day. As you would say this. <laughs> I guess you're right. As you starts looking out into the city, as many other citizens are still, um, okay, but not really mentally. I mean, some of them got their families ripped apart. So, yeah. Wait for a second. So, after that day, they would start leaving as we move to a different perspective. And this one is quite interesting, to say the least. So, one of the um, Ganesha Familia's members would recognize one of these monsters as he would say this. Um, boss? As, well, Ganesha would appear as he would say this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So what is it, one of my great dis- As they would see that this monster is not turned into a core yet. As he would say this. What the? Why is it then- Why didn't that monster turn into a core? As one of them would say this. I don't know, maybe it's something different. As they would see that the monster would start moving a little bit. As this random Ganesha familiar member would start coming closer to it. As something comes out of there, latching onto his face as it starts biting him. As it starts going inside of him, going through the mouth, and then it starts controlling him. Turning him into almost like a B.O.W. as well. As when Ganesha sees this, he starts running away with the rest of his familiar members, killing him, and also this Plagas, the Las Plagas virus, or the Las Plagas parasite. 
as for another person basically hiding in the shadows seeing all of this happen as you would say this hmm professor ragnar is definitely not going to be happy about this hmm oh well at least he gave me this brand new power the power viruses he calls them hmm as he starts turning his arm into almost like a lizard-like, almost reptilian, like reptilian type, like I meant reptilian style, like arm, as you would say this. Either way, I hope we meet again, Mr. Bell. Hmm. And I hope Mr. Ragnar recognizes you as a great opponent, because I definitely want to fight you in the future, at least. So, he would leave, as it seems that every time he steps, it seems that the ground almost melts. As when the ground basically melts, something, something at least comes out of there. Slugs, or should I say leeches. Black, pure black leeches that go into the sewers. Basically, just like, whatever those things are. They're definitely not normal leeches, because probably they're, well, parasites as well. So yeah, that's basically what happened in this episode. So, I'm going to be leaving it off here because it's going to be the end. So yeah, so, I hope you liked the video, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye